friends back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Have you ever wondered how an airplane flies, how a bird flies, a helicopter, or how any object just like my ping pong ball could stay up in the air? Well, it is because of aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is air moving around an object. And in order for that object to move, move it takes forces, four different types of forces. One is thrust. Thrust is when you push something forward. You know, like when you're outside and you're running and you're playing and someone in front of you and you push them, well, you just thrust them. But in order to get my ping pong ball up in the air, I had to use the blow dryer and the blow dryer thrust it into the air. Well, when you think of a bird, a bird uses its legs to push off and thrust. An airplane, it uses the engine in order to thrust to move forward. The next force, once it is thrust, we want to get it in the air and stay in the air. And so that force is lift. Lift is what moves upward. It is the opposite of gravity. You know, gravity is what pulls us down. Well, lift is pressing upward. And in order for it to go upward, I had to blow the blow dryer and air push the ping pong ball up. Whereas with the bird, the bird begins to go upward when it starts to flap its wings. And the airplane, it uses its wings and the air is pressing down on the wings while the airplane is lifting up in the air. So once it's lifting in the air, guys, it begins to soar and it begins to go. Now, sometimes you want to slow it down, don't you? Have you ever heard of don't let it drag you down? Well, that's our next force, drag. Drag is almost like gravity. It's, it's just pulling back on it and it's going to slow, slow the object down that's in the air. When we see birds, we begin to see them, how they just soar and they just go on at a slow mo. Well, guess what? That's because drag is pulling on them now. And so they're soaring and, and they're slowing down. But they want to land at some point and even the airplane has to land. We don't want to fly forever, do we? So that's when weight come in. Weight is just like gravity. Weight is what pulls it back down. So when that bird is soaring and it sees an object on the ground or something that it can eat or a fish it can scoops up, it lets down its legs. And when it lets down its legs, that gravity starts pulling down on it. Can you think about what happens when an airplane begins to come down? Well, it is the wheels. They release the wheels and they begin to descend. And so when the bird lands softly, it lands on its feet. And when that airplane lands, it lands on those wheels and it begins to roll. Well, guys, that's aerodynamic. Now that you've learned about aerodynamics and the principles of flight, you're going to have an opportunity to make airplanes. We're doing a STEM activity using airplanes where we're going to build three types of airplanes. We have two types of gliders and we have a dart airplane. We're going to make these airplanes using the material paper. All you need is an 8 by 11 sheet of paper. It can be just a simple white sheet of paper. And you're going to need your hands. When we're through making these airplanes, you will have an opportunity to test which airplane will travel the farthest and which airplane will travel the longest. All right, let's get ready. Get your materials and let's make airplane.
to do some test flights. Which one do you think is going to fly the farthest? The spy glider? The dark plane? Or our other glider? All right, let's get started. goodness that was so much fun flying these airplanes did you notice that this one the speed glider went the fathers but then the spy glider took the longest and then of course our dark plane on some occasions it would go far it depended on the wind and the lift it got so guys, using the principles of aerodynamics and flight, I want you to make your airplane go out and have some fun and test them. Once you do one round of tests with them, then I want you to think about what if I added something to my airplane? Will it make a difference if I added a coin on top or if I added some paper clips at the bottom? Will it give it too much drag? Will it slow it down or will it weigh it down too much? Or can I change the wings so that it could travel farther or longer? So these are just prototypes. I always say prototypes in design and engineering, it's just your first model. Now you get to change it however you want based on the three basic prototypes I've showed you today. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to your comments to see how much fun you had flying airplanes.